about it. You know, what do we just do? We are. Uh, <clears throat> we have. I'm recording this, by the way. Offered Ronnie Gilson a free ticket and a place to stay. Gratis. To be the exclusive um, agent, if you like, for the world of the wedding predicted in space on May the 20th, I believe, 2011. If he fails to come, and if he's failed to be given donations, which I've asked for. Well, explain how, because that part has not been made clear. Well, the idea was that all he's getting a million hits on his uh, show. In a month. In a month. Therefore, he's got this uh, wonderful setup that he's done, established a beautiful network, where he could say, well, the Messiah or not, has said he will pay my fare and support me and give me exclusive rights to the film rights of the wedding predicted by astronomy. Well, if he doesn't come, back up. People should all donate $10 each for that to be filmed by Donnie because I know he's honestly stupid. He is a fuckhead, but he is on it. Mm. And he's probably insane as well. Mm. Driven mad by love. Mm. Yep. And the horror of his ancestors that were burned at the stake. Absolutely. And he's with the Catholic. Mm. So we have this silver mug that we bought for a dollar. And everyone should drink out of silver, because that, of course, gives you uh, the benefits of the silver ion going into the liquid. A hot cup of coffee in there is a hot cup of bloody coffee. You can't drink it. Burns your lips. So it's got to cool down and then you can drink it. Now we're just saying that uh, it's a checkmate because Donnie, well, he's ref if he refused to come, would be admitting he is working for the Illuminati and the Lucifer all along. It's only two choices here. He is a world famous personality now that has had me on his show twice. And I think one was three the times. 13th, three the 13th, uh, Friday the 13th. Three times. Three times. Okay, yeah. Friday the 13th. Right. Yeah, but He's no, not no, saying. It was April the 3rd, the crucifixion anniversary. Oh, that's right, crucifixion anniversary. Yeah. And I said to him, if you're going to succeed at this, you've got to keep on going on with your bullshit in space. Did I not? Yes, you did. You did. And he is a, a psycholo psychology major? Uh, yeah, he studies psychology. Yeah. He's a, back, a Bachelor of Arts or something. Something like that, yeah. Doctorate. The mind. Mm. Good the mind. Mm. Okay. Now, he is um, also a singer. Yes. And he's put together some uh, beautiful work that uh, is extraordinary mm. for a man his size. Sounds like a little boy. Yeah. Extraordinary. It should win that show, I think, in America. Anyhow, um, he's in a quandary. I told him what his wife would do, Vicky. Vicky. That's why I said publicly uh, I would apologise to, to her if she'd shut the fuck up. She's such an idiot, like, like a demon-driven idiot. Well, now, Donnie has been exposed to that, and he's admitted that's what it is. Mm. He's got 24 hours to get out. So I give him the relief to get out and the opportunity of a lifetime. Now, wouldn't it be a perfect setup for Satan to have used all this up to this Donnie factor? Mm. There's Donnie Lucifer in the flesh. Mm. If he doesn't come, he's Lucifer in the flesh, and he should be shot on shot. Right? <laughs> he's coming apart at the seams, isn't he? Mm. he got her now. <laughs> so, we can sort it out right one minute. If he comes, I'm recognised. If he doesn't come, I'm not recognised. It's him. He's Lucifer. It's an automatic guillotine here. You stick your head out the wrong way, it's coming off. That is the truth of it. And he's smart enough to understand that. So if he's a good man, because you know, I'm not, I'm now I'm just 
presenting the evidence. I know what he is. I'm just saying to the general public, if he's a good man, he would then come to Australia to reveal the truth no matter what it is. Mm. You offer so good, he would be the most famous man on earth. Mm. If he refuses, he's listening. He identifies himself to you. Mm. Coming in the back door. To the wedding, where is your wedding garment? His wedding garment is his presence here on the 20th. Mm. There's a one where it says Lucifer. Mm. Why aren't you wearing a garment? Mm. Or is it the other way around? No, where is your garment? Where is your garment? Because you, nobody can get in. There's only one, no, one not wearing one, a garment. One, one not wearing one a garment. Not wearing. So we have nominated the situation by chance. <laughs> if you believe in chance. Or if you believe in all three or nine, we are all but bit players. So if Lucifer must, when it's absolutely cornered in a checkmate of spirituality, chess game, he loses and he capitulates. That's why he said, I will not give up. That's what he said to Adam. Mm. Can't come and see us. Can't come and yeah. see me. I'll destroy him. Because he comes in my presence, he's dead. Mm. Mm. Exactly. See, I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. I'm just telling you how it is. Mm. Right. Another bloody angel. Isn't it? The swine. They're popping up. So there's yeah, three now in two days. That's right. What, what two, was that? Two three angels. Three angels. The angels. Just the third one I seen. The window. one was standing beside me here. Little little man, curly hair, rough 48-ish, maybe 60, that type. Suntanned, small, not too much taller than yourself. Beside me, I'm smiling, I'm a little curly hair as well. Your colour hair. Oh, that was Al. Al, was it? Yeah, Al the Angel. Three hours with him. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, but then there was the. Yeah, Al, did you say? Al, Al, Al was his name, the oh, Angel. Right. He had a withered Indian. face. Yes, uh, and uh, freckles, blue eyes, blue, blue eyes. Freckles, yeah, my hair, right. curly, curly, my colour hair. And. Um, Slightly darker. Yes, it is slightly darker. Yep. Yep, more intense is the colour. Yeah, and my my height. And then you saw on the corner bit there, wasn't it, when you were sitting outside? Mm. This was um, almost like that flare that's been popping up on the planet down in uh, Nehemiah. And it was black. Mm. And it just went from the corner of my my vision, I was looking back, looking my right, and I'm looking at it, and then it just zipped away like I've got the fruit back on. Mm. Black, black, black. And what was the one just then? That one was more of a spear shape. Like that. And it ducked down as if it was a bird flying. Who talked about a triangle recently? Oh, well, I was that talking about yesterday was, you know, the, the shape she was telling me it all changed to a triangle. They said, yeah, we're talking on that. Yeah, no, somebody. On YouTube? Uh, I was talking about that. The Wilberg meeting. Yes. Trying Forest. William, Prince William. Prince William Forest. Forest. Next, to the Next to the triangle. Mm. Kindling okay. for the forest fire, I think. Mm hmm. So this runaway um, series of miracles is pretty hard to contain. I mean, just enough for looking at what's going on in Nehemiah all the time. To the weather, Coriolis effect, all that kind of stuff. It's got to start to sink in. Mm. And of course, um, the Americans and uh, white caps. I mean, you take any army, you've got some brilliant kids in there. Mm. And... Um, they may recall the incident in Gulf Bridge, Florida, where they said Jesus was coming on the UFO. And I told the guys down there, I said I had come, but it was in a Dodge Diplomat. <laughs> with a blue vinyl roof. And how fast were you travelling, babe? About 35 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so 
But so that all happened. And uh, that's where Pauline's a witness to that. Now, she's a reluctant witness, which is the best kind. She yeah. tells a brilliant bullshit story. But she might lie. Yeah. She'll lie her chance she gets. Uh, but I mean, she'll tell the truth. When it comes to By reverse yeah. subterfuge, yeah. And sometimes she does stumble. I'd be in the back and give it a nod. If she's telling her story. I'd be sitting behind her and say, yeah, that's true, that's true. Uh -huh. We do it with all the wives. Be a lot of like that with Ireland, for example. Mm -hmm. You never tell the truth. To another side. Couldn't lie straight in bed. Possibly the most evil person I've ever met. Without doubt. Lucifer's choice. That's why it's 1966 when I married her. When I was 1162.6 bloody weeks old, which is 22.28 weeks. Which is the height of Mount Kosciuszko in meters. Hello. So um, it is two opponents, in that sense. You get all of Cain's descendants mingled with Seth's descendants, you know, just a little conclave of Seth's descendants in Iran. Mm. That's all that's left. So they have always done the right thing. They are automatically the chosen. And the chosen idea of the imagined Jews who are descended from Sodom and Gomorrah would choose righteousness. Never. So they're the Pharisees, the descendants of Sodom, of Lot, worn by angels, still wasn't good enough, still has to shag his two daughters, right, like he'd always been doing. Like, it wasn't new to them. Let's get our father drunk and preserve his seed. You've been rooting them all the way along. They're out of sight of them. So incest, no problem. And that's the women that married into Lot, descendants in Solomon, which was Solomon's temple with 153,003 masons to build it. 300 people. 153,383. Yes. So that's that's a Freemason number, you're looking at. So I've been trying to put together a uh, what we've just spoke to in a, in a PowerPoint, right? putting the historical facts together that we know is genuine because we can cross-reference it with the Aramaic. And uh, it basically just said what I said, that the seed of Adam so corrupt that there's only one little conclave and that's Iran where the women there are pure and they will uh, become my wives therefore the seed will be taken out so oh, that's immoral don't do that it's naughty now the point is the little kids is going to come forth out of that they don't give a fuck what we thought I'm just telling you it's how it's going to That takes us up to 1320, 1331, and good night.